Lucas Baramsko, but everyone knows me as Gilly. I've served in six squadrons and qualified on almost a dozen ships. So if you put in the time, I'll get you on the path to dogfighting with the best of them. We're gonna set you up in the ship on the landing pad over there. Hustle over and let's get going. Move it, move it, move it! cockpit and familiarize yourself with the layout. It's imperative to quickly find and access specific controls. Last thing you want to be doing in a scrap is bringing up the instructions. You'll notice the majority of your systems are disabled. I'll be controlling when they're on and offline to simulate potential scenarios and combat situations. Let's get ready for takeoff. I'll do this step by step to show you how it's done. Systems, check. Engines, check. Tower, permission for launch. Clear for launch. Copy that, Tower. All right, first I want to lift vertically until I'm just clear of the landing pad. Now that I'm clear, I can stray forward onto the taxiway. Now I square my ship up with the ceiling doors, ready for a vertical takeoff. Once you're aligned, the tower will open the doors. That's it. Once I clear out, it'll be your turn. Ready? I'm enabling your systems. We'll monitor your progress from up here. Cleared for launch. Nice. You're clear of the path. Okay, now straight forward onto the taxiway. If you need it, the tower should have lit up your path. Make sure you don't pitch or roll. It'll be tough to get back into proper alignment. Don't align yourself with the middle of the doors. You'd be surprised how many crews forget that the cockpit is not the center of the ship. The tower will open the doors once you're lined up. You're lined up. Landing gear detected. Hold. Watch it, rookie. First try. I've just enabled your targeting system. Use it to target me. Good. When you're shooting a target, you'll want to keep your speed as close to theirs as Great. You're locked on. Remember, this is an autopilot, so you still have to steer. But you'll notice that once you're locked, your computer will continue to monitor my speed and adjust. It doesn't matter if I speed up slowly or stop fast. That, my friend, is the Spire. Isn't she a beauty? Moving on. Now this is my favorite part of training. The barrel roll. <laughs> so much fun. Rolling is a great way to orient your ship to fit through tight gaps or evade incoming fire. Now you give it a go.
nice one. Well, you seem to be able to handle your ship, so let's see if you can handle a bit of combat. Check your radar. You should have a contact. Don't worry. It's just a training drone. It handles just like the real thing, but its weapons are less than lethal. Saying that, they still pack a punch, so try not to take any hits if you don't have to. Use your targeting system to quickly target the closest enemy. Okay, now look at the top right of your hut. You should see the target displayed. This will show real-time damage, shield status, and a few other things. Shields are drawn as panels floating around the ship. They'll shrink as they weaken until they disappear completely. At that point, your shots will hit the hull and cause lasting damage. Now your weapons are online. Line up your target and fire when you're ready. Good shot. See a shield weakening on your hut? Yeah, it didn't like that. What are you waiting for? Go finish it off. Now you have a target. You'll have extra aim ridicules. Those are predicted impact points or pips. They'll show you where to shoot to hit a moving target. Notice you have multiple pips with varying lag. Each of those indicates a weapon on your ship. The computer is trying to compensate for varying speeds between your ballistic and energy projectiles. Fire and control bursts. Give your weapons time to cool, or they'll overheat. Good hit. Keep firing. Pressure. It shields are down. Finish it off with a missile. Missile locking sensors are on the nose, so keep your target in front of you long enough to lock off. Let's move on. Uh oh! Looks like he had a friend. Take a look in your review camera. He's got locked. Missiles incoming. That hit took out your weapons. You'll have to hold out till they come back. Countermeasures are still online. Use them. Last missile was heat seeking, so equip your flares. Helpful tip, don't boost after dropping one. Boosted thrusters are much hotter than a flare. Flares have a short lifetime. Don't be too quick to fire them. Another pro tip, countermeasures are fired backwards, so never fly the missile head on. Launch countermeasure and expect it to work. He's got locked. Missile's incoming. Good. You got your guns back. But I'll need more time to get your missiles up. If the drone gets behind you, enter decouple mode to disengage your main engines and allow you to spin your ship around while retaining your original vector. It's a great way to dissuade your pursuer, but make sure you've checked your path ahead first. Give it a try. Just remember to disengage when you're done. He's got locked. Missiles incoming. Got your missiles back. Take it out. Good kill. We're heading back to the landing pad to restock and refuel for the final part of your training. On me, rookie. On me, rookie. On me, let's go! You did good back there, Caps. Let me guess, you're only a commander fan.
This should be close enough. Once landing mode's active, your HUD's gonna swap out your combat systems for landing-specific functionality. You can cycle through available landing pads, the same as cycling through targets. Once you've targeted a landing pad, request permission to land. Go ahead and pick a landing pad. Your radar is replaced by the landing system. It'll guide you to your pad and help you perform a safe landing. You can use the automatic EDL landing procedure or do the whole thing manually. Make sure your ship stays within the bounds of the pad, and keep your eye on your pitch and roll. Take a look at your ship's setup. In there, you'll see your weapon groups, shield configuration, and power distribution. I wouldn't mess around with them during training. Off. Let's get back out there. Take off when you're ready. Think you can stay on my tail? If you need to get up to top speed in a hurry, try boosting. You can also use it to overpower your maneuvering thrusters in order to take tighter corners. You have a limited amount that takes time to replenish, so don't go nuts with it. If you need to cut your speed in a hurry, use your space brake. It's much quicker than dialing back your engines, and the moment you let go of it, you'll automatically accelerate back up to your previous speed. Careful! These ships aren't cheap! Think you can put all this together? Let's see. Still with me, kid? Good job. Now one thing you need to understand, every ship's outfitted with systems to look out for you. That last sharp turn, you probably felt your ship clamp down on the speed. That's your G-safe system kicking in. Making sure that you aren't taking too many G-forces and blacking out. If you need to get that extra edge in turning, you can disable G-safe, but be warned. An unconscious pilot turns to a dead one pretty quick. You also have ComStab, which adjusts your forward velocity so you can make controlled turns. Disabling ComStab will allow you to maintain your velocity in turns, but you will drift wider. Think fast.
doing with me? All right. I'm a little impressed. Race you to the spire. Hold on. I've got contacts inbound. Contact. Commando fighter. Get ahead. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. All your systems are active. This is a live fire encounter. Mark your target. Copy that. I got the other. Good luck. Stay sharp. We've got more hostiles inbound. Looks like there's a glaive in the mix. That glaive's a recognized ace. Enemy designation is tank. We're gonna have to work together to take it down. Target the glaive. Training session, huh? Danger. Radiation critical. I'm getting erratic power spikes from your ship. They must have hit your power plant. Your ship's loaded with military intel, so we can't let it fall into enemy hands. You'll have to initiate self-destruct before you eject. Close there, kid. Let's get you back to base. First round's on me. 